Oh gosh, I can already see those pixels amongst that light. Hello, I'm Tam of the Tam BOTC channel. This is going to be my first official review. And it's Risen 3, Titan Lords. I talked about this before. I really want to approach this game. And I, won't, and I don't know how like to to approach it like video wise since I only do 15 minutes so I'm going to actually play it and go through what my thoughts on the game and I think what should be your thoughts to be honest too because it is not as everybody makes the hype <laughs> once again know that this is just personal opinion that it doesn't have to be your thoughts but what I'm about to talk about is going to be very strict to the game and outside of the game of the fans of the game too. Because I feel like sometimes the game contributes to its own awfulness but so can the people contribute to it. It almost like the game company itself. Kind of like that one that attacked Jim Sterling. I'll be using YouTubers as example. I'll give them shout outs too. I turned off the music for uh, reasons of strikes, but uh, let's not talk about that stuff. Right now I have a few pieces of evidence as well as uh, my thoughts on the game. So let's get into some uh, poorly constructed fighting and this barrel roll you can do forever at an enemy and he can practically not hit you forever. Oh wait, I already complained about that one thing now. <laughs> All right, let's uh Oh gosh. I hate this game already. No, uh, no, uh, can you Uh first off, I want to lay out is there anything good about this game? All I can say is they tried. It's an open world. It's got creativity in areas, but there's nothing the aftermath of that creativity is awful. Uh. Oh! Ah. Let me test out the whole... Yeah. These guys are fast, so... They should be able to hit me. And he's taking care of them for me. I better get some... First, now my first problem. Well, there you go. There's one of the problems. Every time you kill an enemy, it stinking freezes. And I have a good game system. A matter of fact, I have all the game systems. Don't tell me I don't have not so good technology going on here. <laughs> you have to be a joke to say that. Not only that, but the combat is so dang slow. There we go. It's freezing again. The oh the the uh the music's good, but I feel like it's overdone. Hey, on a bambula, on a shahuko gucho. What? I didn't do anything. Um. No weapon. Kata chi go away. Okay, I was just fighting monkeys, Dink. Anyways, the acting is awful. When I first started up this game, I could already tell you, the main character sounded like Christian Bale's Batman, but worse. How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> it's awful, though. The graphics are horrible. Very pixelated. Not so many textures have been fitted into the games. This game any of the games to be honest. The AI is stupid and how it teleports to the enemy. And if you want to see more on it, I did a versus between this and two worlds which was called my which is the worst game. And it's, I pit two awful games against each other to see who is worse than the other. And if you look back at that that one, I give some pretty uh, I don't have too much to talk about because, once again, they on, they're on equal standards of awfulness, if you can say that. But, at the same time, they... 
I do give clear evidence and a really uh, good answer to the end at the end of why one is awful than the other one. Get out of here! I'm going to barrel roll. Yeah! Oops, I forgot to... Alright, uh, first off, I want to talk about the fans of the ser- Seriously. Forgot. No! Oh, great. Aha! How am I healing? Did he heal me? Oh, he healed. Okay. That's... Man. The sound effects don't even matter because... Look at that. I'm barely getting hit. I'm right in front of these guys. That's stupid. I feel like some areas are reused from the original two Risen games. You got really bad side quests, like the from the original where it's like, sweep the floor, or try to pass on some drugs to this guy. So some drugs to this guy, and I'm like, the heck is your problem? Oh, great. Well, this is going to be fun. I got how you fight, but, like, it's still awful, and the game doesn't really change. Oh, there we go. It still doesn't explain all the technical difficulties this game has. There's a gorilla behind you, dude. Exactly. Uh, first off, I have some evidence on people hating on Angry Joe after reviewing them. And this is on Titan Lords itself. Uh, somebody says, and this is on the Steam page, by the way, why does... Why does Titan Lords have such a high rating from fans as being good? You're telling me that game is good? Its trailer was a lie. When I watched the trailer, it looked amazing. It's sort of like one of those trailers you expect on, to be on one of the top ten lists, where it's like the tra top ten trailers that lied about the game or the movie. That's what it felt like. There's tons of explosions in action when really the thing is just very bland and stupid. <laughs> uh, first off, Angry it says a shout out to Angry Joe. He's he's awesome and he does great reviews. But Angry Joe sucks at RPGs. His video is a joke and explains about combat. I'm not going to give names of who's saying this, but I'm going to use your reference. Lol, lol, lol. <laughs> it's an RPG. Rank up your skills. Now, uh, let's talk about that. The ranking up for this game is very bland and stupid. There's no uh, credibility. There's nothing to the environment that screams to me. Uh, with life that breathes any kind of life. And no game really breathes life, but you have, like, interesting characters they give you to make the game uh, more satisfying and make you want to play through it more. That gorilla is going crazy. But I feel none of that in this game. And it doesn't help that they sell DLC just to make it so it's pretty much at the standards and price of your average game being 60 bucks. And by the way, that no one had a bunch of gnomes that seriously sounded like a bunch of annoying Jar Jar Binkses. My ears are now bleeding after that. <laughs> that was awful. <coughs> Once again, proving the awful voice acting. There's magic, but the magic is very bland. I remember the bird spell, but you don't get to fly as high. You're supposed to be a bird. You should be able to fly. It actually starts out with you at a, a decent point in the air, and then you actually go lower instead of higher. You can control it, but not as good as you think you can. And other spells are limited, dull. Oh, I'm sorry. She, you Pink. understand. You're, and there's just no consistency to this game. It's very, it's very. What is going on? It's freezing on me. This is more awful. This. Texture designs, I saw tons of texture problems. Uh, this game gets repetitive as it goes. There's there's almost no reward through the dungeons in the game. It's like very tiny. And 
to back up the whole people saying Angry Joe sucks at RPGs, first off, look at his channel. It has the clear evidence right there. He plays RPGs like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Those are some of the hardest and most awesome, creative, and basically takes everything I said that was wrong with this game, turn it around on itself, and everything would be fine and perfect with the game. That's the kind of games he played, and he even gave those games really good ratings. And I'm sure he loves them too. And he's known even to watch to watch as one of the best reviewers on YouTube for video games. And there's a reason. He gives some pretty credible uh, and awesome ratings for his games. He knows what he's talking about. doesn't help that he does have the language, but... There's nothing you can do to stop that. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's... And his whole angry persona is to basically uh, draw anger towards what this game is doing to him. That's the whole persona of it. What the game will do to you after you've been driven mad by it. So it gives you a, a not-so-good-looking persona. Uh, this there's just bad textures that are off. There's glitches everywhere in this game, and the pe fans are trying. I don't even know if they're really fans. They're they're very hateful towards people, and it's sad. And then there's the people who like me, where it's like, dude, can you look at the game another t time, or are you blind? Because it's pretty clear that g the game is awful <laughs> because it's got the it's got everything nailed down to why games are bad and when you look at this game this is a 2014 game for crying out loud if you look at the games like alien isolation even evil within you will see much better graphics and at just everything in general uh there's not much for glitches there's no frame rate issues. There's no uh, lag like this game can have. And an RPG, this game's the worst example of an RPG. One other thing is people were talking about, this is like from Gothic. There's another site that talks about the Gothic series, is it? Yeah, Gothic series. The game is based around evolved concepts introduced in the Gothic series and takes a step back from Risen 2 to make the game more grounded in the medieval fantasy concepts that helped but put Piranha Bites on the map. Now the problem, the last problem is uh, you can say that it's an original idea but it's not. Matter of fact, games that even play better that have the same concept have done it way before this game has. Two Worlds was one of them. You had the Gothic series. You have, um, what was that? Even games like Dragon Age, Fable, and uh, the Dark Souls series have done that stuff way before uh, Risen has. There's so many more than that, but I wouldn't be able to name all of those. You, you, I bet you could even just look on uh, Xbox 360 or something and see the uh, similar games to this game. And no, it doesn't matter if you suck or not at a part RPG. It depends on how the RPG plays. So it's wrong of the people to judge Angry Joe on his playing skills and level. The people don't deserve to say that, especially once once again, there are RPGs that he plays that he has so much fun with. Matter of fact, he rated the recent awesome RPG, Witcher 3, a very outstanding rating. Uh, I give this game a whew, 1 out of 10. This game sucks. It has no life to it. And I will see you guys next time. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Leave comments below. And if you want more information, ask me. Because right now, I'm finished with this.